For the past six months, Sarah Lashbrook has been working at this hotel. She's also a full-time student and lives with her two roommates at the young age of 18. Most of her walks home have been uneventful. That wasn't the case just a few nights ago. Basically, when I had gotten to High Street, there's a certain point where a couple of the lights, they don't work anymore, so where it was kind of dark. Um, but there was a guy, and he was walking towards me, and I didn't really think twice of it because he seemed like completely normal, right? He just seemed like a normal citizen. And about when we were two feet apart, he decided to turn around and then start walking the same direction I was walking, which I found kind of odd. So I crossed the street to try and get away from him. And then um, while doing that, he also crossed the street to continue being like close to me. And then so I crossed the street again, you know, trying to like let him know that I am aware that he's like following me or at the very least to see if he was following me and he continued to follow. He crossed the street as well, so he's still behind me at this point. And then I started to jog because I didn't feel very safe, and he started jogging as well, and then I, I did a full sprint, and he started running, and I made it home uh, fine because he just kind of like gave up once I had reached my driveway. Lashbrook says the years running track and playing soccer evidently paid off. I used to do track with Whittafield and I was also a soccer player for all my life so that definitely helped but I mean there's lots of kids out there who don't play a lot of sports and maybe they can't outrun you know someone like that. Meanwhile in this case Lashbrook did not go to the police although she said she's gone through a couple of previous traumatic experiences which did lead her to call police at least one time. But this did cause her to go public with what happened. Well, I had been a part of the crime group for a little bit, and I'd seen how, you know, sometimes posting about things helped find people, you know, their lost items and stuff like that. And I saw that there was, you know, quite a few people on there. So I thought that that way at least people would be aware to watch out for those streets and to just, you know, be aware that there are people out there that aren't exactly making North Bay the safest place that I thought it was. I asked Lashbrook about taking a cab. Well, she says as an 18-year-old student living with two roommates, cash is very tight. And using pepper spray is illegal, although she does have a couple of other options. I already have bought myself this. Uh, it's a keychain. It's a self-defense keychain. And this, it's basically to, this would penetrate through a car window if I had to, like if, you know, I was grabbed and put in a car, it can break through a car window. Um, it also can harm a person, but the thing is, is I definitely don't want to be closer to a person than if I have to be. Like if I were grabbed, I would use it, but he was running after me, so I'd wanted to put more space in between myself and him. And so I'm thinking I might buy like a mini hairspray can or something like that, you know, just some sort of spray that I could use because you're also not really supposed to use like bear mace or dog mace unless you actually feel threatened by those things. And I've never had an encounter with a bear or a dog, so, you know, I don't really feel threatened by them. Coincidentally, the North Bay Police Service issued a release on Wednesday talking about several similar cases to Sarah Lashbrook's that have happened in the city. Those reports are definitely concerning. I think we've had three, possibly four now, uh, sort of unrelated, unrelated to each other, but similar in, in the circumstances. So um, we don't know at this point what the, what the person's intention would be, whether it be just to scare people um, or not. Um, so what we do is we make our officers aware that this is occurring on our night shifts. Uh, we have additional resources that we can deploy at night um, just to keep an eye on the streets. But we do encourage people, as always, to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, make sure you know people know where you're going, where you're walking to, um, stuff like that to keep themselves safe.